Bless the Lord, my soul. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Psalm 86 Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to reveal your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love towards me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the insolent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life, and they do not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God, merciful and gracious. Slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the child of your serving girl. Show me a sign of your favour so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. The first lesson is taken from the 19th chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, starting at the first verse. Thus said the Lord, Go and buy a potter's earthenware jug. Take with you some of the elders of the people and some of the senior priests and go out to the valley of the son of Hinnom at the entry of the port's herd gate and proclaim these words that I will tell you. You shall say, Hear the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I am going to bring such disaster upon this place that the ears of everyone who hears it will tingle. Because the people have forsaken me, 
and have profaned this place by making offerings in it to other gods, whom neither they nor their ancestors nor the kings of Judah have known. And because they have filled this place with the blood of the innocents, and gone on building the high places of Baal to burn their children in the fire as burnt offerings to Baal, which I did not command or decree, nor did it enter my mind. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when this place shall no more be called Topheth, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. And in this place I will make void the plans of Judah and Jerusalem, and will make them fall by the sword before their enemies, and by the hand of those who seek their lives. I will give their dead bodies for food to the birds of the air, and to the wild animals of the earth. I will make this city a horror, a thing to be hissed at. Everyone who passes by it will be horrified, and will hiss because of all its disasters. And I will make them eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And all shall eat the flesh of their neighbours in the siege and in the distress with which their enemies and those who seek their life afflict them. Then you shall break the, judge in the, the jug in the sight of those who go with you. And you shall say to them, thus says the Lord of hosts, so will I break this people and this city as one breaks a potter's vessel so that it can never be mended. In Topheth they shall bury until there is no more room to bury. Thus will I do to this place, says the Lord, and to its inhabitants, making this city like Topheth. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah shall be defiled like the place of Topheth. All the houses upon whose roof Offerings have been made to the whole host of heaven, and libations have been poured out to other gods. Here endeth the first lesson. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, Cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowships of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of God the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is taken from the 10th chapter of the book of John, starting at the 22nd verse. At that time, the festival of dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter and the Jews were walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. 
Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The words that I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my father is given is greater than all else. And no one can snatch it out of the father's hand. The father and I are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works for the father. For which of these are you going to stone me? Then the Jews answered, It is not good for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, though only a human being, are making yourselves God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say, that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son? I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptising earlier and he remained there. Many came to him and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true and many believed in him there. Here endeth the second lesson. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our, father, to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, that he would deliver us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully heal us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, and through your beautiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. O God, who are author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you have given us your Son. You are our Lord and we are your people. Please cleanse and renew the body of your church and also Bishop Graham and Father Alaric and all who lead in your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Please bless all of us here gathered to worship you. Please cleanse us from all our sins and renew and refresh us as we seek to live in your name. Thank you for your creation, for signs of spring and new life all around us. Help us to appreciate the wonder and vibrancy of creation and help us to care for it. Please bless our societies and help us to do what we can to improve society for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on all who suffer. Cleanse and renew the bodies and hearts of those who are sick in any way. And please give strength and sensitivity to those who care for the sick. Let your light shine through them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Be especially close to those who watch and wait with the dying, and also with those who mourn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we meditate on Jesus in the desert, thank you that he did this for us, that he made himself vulnerable and weak. Help us to understand that the more compassionately we love, the more vulnerable we will become, but that in our weakness, 
your love can work in us. As we embark on this new day, we thank you for it and the promise it holds, which we may not see immediately. Help us to see you all around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh, Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and it does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all, evermore. Amen.